it's looking more and more likely that this fight is going to get announced in a couple of days. I know it's been it's been seeming likely for a while now, and yeah, people are getting tired and bored. But nah, nah, this time likelier than never. How about that? AJ took to his social media to put up a couple of posts, and the first one goes: Another positive meeting with Two Five Eight Management. They've informed me things are shaping up nicely. They'll be sharing the update with Eddie, and you'll be hearing from me soon. So yeah, that sounds like a couple of days job to me. <laughs> Yeah, well, what do you think? What do you think? That's sounding very likely that maybe by the weekend we should be hearing something. That's what I think. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Watch this space. Still, still a few things Few things we're still not sure about. Like, where the hell is this fight going to take place? Eddie Hearn mentioned a few days ago that Vegas is going to be opening up in May. And they con strongly considering Vegas. And Singapore got the name in the hat. Qatar got the name in the hat. Apparently Saudi Arabia are in full lockdown, so it's probably not going to be Saudi. And yeah, but the Middle East are always going to be a strong um, contenders, so he still might end up in the Middle East. But Vegas wouldn't shock me. That wouldn't shock me. One reason why I wouldn't want it to happen in America is just you know those dumbass PBC fans that go, "Oh, we we're not watching no undisputed fight. We're not watching no AJ Fury. The fight people want to see is Wilder versus Fury." And yeah, you know those dumbass guys. Yeah, you, why how can we take our our whole fight and take it to their country? You know, it, well, it is what it is. I love them to be on the outside looking in. They they cannot watch the fight. You know, don't watch it. We, we, the rest of the world are gonna watch it. They they cannot watch it. You know, but yeah, if it's gonna be in America, I don't. Who cares? Let it be wherever it's gonna be. The second clue AJ put up. He put up another post going, "I'll be undisputed." Well, he's not lying there. If this this fight gets made, yeah, that's true. He's not lying. That's a fact. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep our eyes peeled for the next couple of days and see what happens if it gets announced. If not, um, yeah, I never told you it's going to get announced. So don't come to me talking. Don't, don't ask me nothing. I never told you nothing. <laughs> Talk to AJ. AJ told you it'd be undisputed. <laughs> well, yeah, you just let me know. If, well, let us know what you guys think of it. AJ's post is he gonna be undisputed and where do you think this fight is gonna pop up at America Middle East Singapore where are we going where are we going um wild card the UK <laughs> what's happening in June is it gonna be a June thing or yeah we'll see we'll see well the fight is taking place in June but another thing that happens in June is the UK is semi coming off lockdown well might be coming off lockdown in June, so uh, wild card. The only you know financially the UK probably can't afford it. That's the one stumbling block that keeps the UK out of the equation. So it's yeah, more than likely not gonna be the UK, but let's just let's see what what, what this announcement is gonna be about. Brief recap on the Brazil violin fight. Um, Valin boxed his way to a comfortable UD decision against Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil looked horrendous in there for the entirety of the fight. He started off sloppy and he got stronger to, towards the end that where, when both men were tired. Valin gassed badly towards the end but he, he was comfortable throughout the fight. He didn't really look, to, look in too much bubble from Brazil. Brazil was trying to take his head off for, for the whole of the fight, but he just could not get the job done. He was off balance most of the time. Valin lacked power, he couldn't hurt him. My prediction, I predicted midway through the fight, um, Brazil was going to gas and I reckon Valin sh would have enough power to take him out. But I was wrong with the latter part. He doesn't have as much pop as I thought he did, so yeah, he could not take Brazil out whatsoever. Valin in the division is just gonna be a nuisance in the division. He he he's capable of beating a few guys, there, but yeah, he's gonna lose to most of the top guys. But he's gonna give him a fight. He's gonna give him a run for their money. He's a decent boxer, an orthodox, yeah. So he's a nightmare for anyone. But yeah, he lacks pop. He lacks power. But he was able to wobble. Um, well, not wobble. Was able to to cut um, a certain fighter's eye, and he was able to give him trouble for most of the fight gave him a run for his money and he was, he was hurting him in there in the, the final round from what I remember 
I'm talking about the Fury fight in his previous fight against Fury. In his last fight against Fury, he troubled him. And it, he didn't look like knocking Brazil out in any point of the fight. He was just... He, he, I don't really remember Brazil being hurt per se. That's this same Dominic Brazil we're talking about. Come on now. So this Saturday the 27th, um, I think it's probably going to take place in the morning. I'm not too sure what time it's going to take place, but it's probably going to be in the morning in the UK. On Saturday, it's going to be a heavyweight fight between Joseph Parker versus Junior Far. It's a New Zealand grudge match. They actually faced each other back in the amateur days. Junior Far won both fights. Junior Far wasn't even that great. <laughs> Neither men were great amateurs to begin with, but... Um, Parker was the most successful one, but Far managed to beat him twice, twice in amateurs. Um, Far's on beat, on being as a pro now. He's 19 and 0, 10 knockouts. Parker, we all know Parker, um, former world champion. Only two losses to AJ and Dylan White. Um, Far hands, de decent puncher. Um, beat Andrew Ruiz for his um, for the vacant WBO world title. Back in what was it, 2017, 2018? Yeah, um, quite a lot of people felt like Andy won that fight, but um, Parker won, got the decision in New Zealand, the, the hometown decision. According to some people, including me, I felt like um, Andy might have um, edged that fight by a round or so. Parker, Parker hasn't looked great for me in his past, say, um, since the Huey Fury fight, he's looked disgusting to be honest that well <laughs> Huey, Huey made that fight look you know bad you know you know how Huey, Huey does you made that fight look bad and yeah um Parker wanted to make make a fight of it Huey Huey wasn't having any of it and you know Parker got decision the end majority decision and you know the classic McKenzie comments after the fight I mean the footwork and Lighty glided around that ring hitting him with jabs at will touching him explosive with it it was like shades of Ali the way he was moving and then yeah after that he fought Joshua another boring fight against Joshua um he, he didn't want to both both men were cautious throughout the whole fight for me but Joshua was trying to make more of a fight of it than than Parker was Parker was just happy to go the distance and not get knocked out pretty much and Joshua just obliged him pretty much and then after that I fought Dylan he went the distance again with Dylan and then that fight, that's when he got knocked out for the first time. His famous chin got exposed by Dylan. <laughs> Joseph Parker. Who's got a better chin? Joseph Parker. But to be Dylan was tired. It was a bit strange because if he if he had approached the fight the way he ended it, it would have been a completely different fight. Because that was a completely different fight from what we seen in the first First, for the whole of the fight, Dylan pretty much just bullied him the whole fight. He dogged him out there. Parker just had no answers for him since. He hasn't competed in any notable fight since then. He fought, what, Alex Leopai, Alexander Flores, and who else? Um, Shondell Winters. He, 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 Shondell Winters got knocked out in the second round against Babish. Shondell Winters got demolished by Babish, and Parker just went five rounds with him a few months before that so yeah parker's not been great since and now he fights this guy junior four in my opinion joseph parker is a couple steps ahead of junior four junior four is bang average in my opinion um he doesn't have any power to speak of to be fair for a big man he's got quite decent hand speed but he lacks he lacks a lot he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't have no movement it's right there to be hit so i can see parker lighting him up i can see him catching parker a few times but like i said it, he doesn't really he lacks punching power which was really really exposed in this last fight against devin vargas that was a horrible fight to watch um he dropped vargas twice to the to the body i don't know what the second knockdown was about still the shot wasn't that clear from what i remember but yeah, I think he dropped him twice to the body. The first one was definitely a body shot knocked out. Vargas, who's a journeyman these days, has been knocked out left, right, and center. Knocked out by, I think, got knocked out by Andy Ruiz. Knocked out by Jimmy Zhang in his last fight. He, yeah, he gets knocked out left, right, and center. So yeah, for far to go the distance with this guy doesn't look good. Um, 
Vargas is 39 years old, so he's an old man, and yeah, he was giving, he was, he was lighting far up here and there, he hurt him a few times in there as well, so yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a good look for, for Junior Far, and I think Joseph Parker's gonna knock him out in this fight, well, it wouldn't be surprised, it wouldn't surprise me if Joseph Parker goes the distance with this guy anyways, but I, I, if the Joseph Parker, I know, if Joseph Parker does what he's capable of, he knocks this guy out, so let me know what you think of everything I said in this video, when are you expecting this announcement and also what do you think of while in Brazil and predictions for Far Parker and what do you make of what do you make of the fight, what do you make of Joseph Parker, what do you make of Junior Far? Just leave everything down in the comment section below. And yeah, don't forget like subscribing. Yeah, do things to the notification bell. Click that. I'm out.